back financially in the stock market. And so people are looking for ways to hyper accelerate into the fourth quarter, whether it's large in office corporations or the restaurant down the block. Everybody knows the holidays are coming. It's going to be harder with people being afraid to come into locations. How do we change the nature of our business? How do we staff up our business in order to maximize our earning potential for Q4? So here's a question for someone like you who deals with staffing all the time. If I'm in business and I lower my standards so that I can fill my employee needs, what does that speak to the service I'm providing the public? When I go into that restaurant, am I going to get the same quality service? When I go into that retail shop, am I going to get the same quality service? It's a great question. And the answer is how good is the mentorship training and onboarding programs at any organization, whether it's the barista program at your local Starbucks, which to my knowledge is pretty formalized. And so you would think you're going to get a standardized level of service at every Starbucks across the country in a short amount of time based on that onboarding program. And you pretty much, and you do. And you do. Yeah. And, and so what does that look like for every organization big and small. It'll also point to organizations that have been successful retaining talent through the pandemic that have institutional knowledge about how things operate here and how to transfer that knowledge to new hires. All right. So let's let's look at the current situation today. And we have companies and governments trying to mandate things. Some are, some aren't. This the 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 notion of mandated vaccines in the workplace, where's it going to go from your standpoint as you see it? Well, we did an informal survey of about 1,600 job seekers, and we were shocked to find that one in four was not vaccinated and did not want to be vaccinated. I, I was really surprised by that number, to be honest. I thought it would be a lot lower. But you're talking about 25% of your workforce that's going to wait it out. And but they're going to do so by either saying, look, I'm just not going to come into an office. I'm going to look for jobs that will let me stay at home and I'm going to stay at home for my safety. Or you're going to look for people who are not vaccinated where offices don't require vaccination, where they can come in, masked or not. How much of it's uh, and this is a legal question. I was going to say how much of it is going to survive court challenges, but we really don't know, do we? It's too early to tell. Those litigations are really just getting underway. That kind of litigation could scale all the way up to the Supreme Court level. And so uh, we just have to wait and see. My guess is we won't really have rulings on that that would govern at a federal level for a year. It seems to me in this mandate situation, if a company lays down the law, it says you must be mandated by a certain date. And that's what we're hearing. And usually they have a date finality to them. And if not, you're done. You're either laid off, suspended, whatever. And if it's a one in four ratio that you're talking about, where are they going to find that 25% employee replacement in this wow. day and age? <laughs> so uh, the stock market recovery from the collapse of 2020 was a V-shaped recovery. But the job market recovery, in my opinion, is going to be a W. We're about to go into another full recession of attrition as we head into the fourth quarter and people who've been waiting it out and waiting to see what their employers are going to do. Because Art, you're assuming that if an employer has required a vaccine mandate, that they've also set a standard of what the consequences are for not adhering to that mandate. And that's not necessarily the case. Many organizations have said, you're coming to the office and if you're going to, you have to be vaccinated. But they haven't really said, and if you're not, you're fired. Or if you're not, you can work from home until X date. What we're seeing is employers kind of closing the artery and saying, this is what I want. And then slowly opening up and being more open-minded to different layers of permission for employees in order to keep people and in order to attract people. Well, it's the infamous red line in the sand. You know, you don't cross it. But if you don't enforce that red line, it's not a red line. That's right. It means nothing. Hang on, Jared. We've got to take a break. We're talking to Jared Casiglio. He's the CEO of True Staffing. We're talking about employment and workforce issues, and we will be back to do more of that on the Art Lewis Show after these notes. 
Midland Furniture Garage, personal service and great design is everywhere and within all budgets. Our premium style, high quality furniture can be customized for maximum comfort. Discover our recliners, window treatments, sofas and more by Stressless, Norwalk, Hunter Douglas and others. Come into Midland Furniture Garage, Midland's creative source and see what's possible for yourself. Midland Furniture Garage, 34 Ashman Circle in Midland and online at MidlandFurnitureGarage.com. This is the Michigan Corn Connection. Today I'm talking with Noelle Nyrocker with the Michigan Ag Council. The Michigan Ag Council is really a sector-wide coalition that represents Michigan's really diverse agriculture industry. And our common goal is to build trust in farmers and farm our consumers around the state. Noelle, what are some ways that you're carrying out that mission? When it comes to Michigan corn and other non-direct to consumer organizations that we represent, we're really just trying to help consumers understand the interconnectedness of agriculture. If you're interested in finding out more about the Michigan Ag Council or if you want to follow us, you can do so on Facebook. Just search for Michigan Grown, Michigan Great. You can also find us on Instagram and our website is michigangrown.org. This is the Michigan Corn Connection. Find out more at micorn.org. I'm Elizabeth McDonald, and this is the Fox Business Report. Economists more money in August, and they did. Consumer spending increased eight-tenths of a percent, slightly stronger than expected. The Delta variant of COVID triggered a summer slowdown in spending on dining out, going to hotels and flying, though an increase in jobs available and rising wages have helped spending and savings. Shipper DHL Express is raising prices by 5.9 percent. The increase matches FedEx's increase. Beauty company Cody is selling an additional interest in its Wella hair care business to KKR. Target will charter its own ship to deliver products to the U.S. and steer away from ports with bottlenecks. Costco, Walmart, and Home Depot have also chartered ships. That's your Fox Business Report. I'm Ginny Kosova, invested in you. Okay, guys. Off. Where's Dad? Oh, he's in the back. We could only get three seats together. Daddy has my pillow. We'll get it later. Can you not put your feet up, please? Why aren't we going? <sighs> we must be in line for takeoff. Like security? Well, that was a different line. I have to go. We just sat down. But I have to go. The seatbelt sign's on. Why aren't we moving? Hey, you no have kicking. To We're just 15 in line for takeoff. Son of a... Don't go there. Go on a real vacation. Go RVing. Learn more at GoRVing.com. There's never any FOMO with the iHeartRadio app. You won't ever have to miss out on your favorite shows and contests with this radio station again. Radio 24-7, 365. We're here when you want us. Stay connected and listen anywhere when you download the free iHeartRadio app. Hi, this is Mike Avery, and here's what's coming up this week on Outdoor Magazine. First, Nick Grillo of Michigan Brand Meats. In hour number two, we're talking about processing your own venison with Mike Horsfall of Chase Sporting Goods. Brian Roll from the DNR talks about the number of whitetails in the UP. And in hour number three, we're changing trophy fall walleye fishing with Lance Valentine of Teaching Fishing. Listen, Sunday mornings at 9 on 100.5 and 790 WSGW. And welcome back to the Art Lewis Show for this Friday morning. Talking to Jared Kosiklia, CEO of True Staffing, about employment issues and workforce issues. So, Jared, what do you advise someone looking for a job and how to approach an employer in this day and age? I mean, the advantage seems to be with the employee. What do you tell them? It certainly is a candidate's job market right now. The first piece of advice that I'd give a job seeker is you've got to get digital. Uh, You should have a strong LinkedIn profile, have your resume on the right sites for your industry vertical, popular ones like ZipRecruiter and Indeed.com for generalized construction work, day labor, all of that kind of employment, they're going to readily pick from the top resume sites online. So 
You got to be digital this day and age. People want to automate their ability if they're employers to find and identify candidates. Uh, and then the real work comes when it's interview time. So <laughs> it brings up such an interesting question. In this world of digital, it doesn't go away. And as we've seen with many prominent people, it can come back to haunt you. So what shouldn't you have on your digital platforms? Well, it's not so much what you should and shouldn't have. I mean, I think, you know, good common sense tells you what you should and shouldn't post if you want it to be public. I think what you really have to be more mindful of. You're making of. an assumption. <laughs> You're making You're an right. assumption. Good common sense. You're right, sense. I am. Uh, <laughs> but but the, ca the caveat to that assumption is really the point I'm about to make, which is what you really need to be mindful of are your security and privacy settings. Uh, you don't want people to have access to what you're doing online. And so if it's an employer that looks up your Facebook account, it should be private. And the photographs that are not private, that are your main picture and your background banner, should be things that are professional or appropriate or stock images that aren't going to offend anybody. It is, it is a concern, though, isn't it? Because they do go back and they do search for these things today. Yeah, I mean, I think any good employer is Googling their potential employee at a minimum, uh, and that brings up a lot of information. <laughs> and so yeah. if you think they go a few steps beyond that, beyond even a background check, I mean, we have certain clients, depending on the nature of their work, that are you know not government clients, that do negative media searches to see what people might be, you know, having been reported in the media for anything that might be negative news. So it, it is a rich world of data out there. We all need to treat our data like it is our shadow. So let's turn the table now. What do you tell the employer what they should be doing and how to do it? Yeah, well, with employers, look, your biggest challenge right now is attracting talent. And then your second biggest challenge is sifting the wheat from the shaft. So my bit of advice right now for the next 30 to 60 days is, Make it very clear at the top, the very top of your job description, much like art reference to the resume at the beginning of this call, um, what your vaccine in office, mass and work from home mandates and policies are. Because those things alone, those variables alone are going to potentially take your candidate pool from 100 to 10 to 15 people once you check all the boxes, depending on where you live in this country and all over the world. Oh yeah. If you end up with 10 good ones, you're, you're lucky <laughs> this day and age. It really seems that way. How important is transparency in all of this? Well, look, I think generally in life, we all want transparency, right? And the cornerstone to privacy, whether it's personal privacy or data privacy is having transparency, both with businesses to their customers so that it's clear about, what their rights are, what data will be or will not be collected with employers and employees on the interview process, how long they're keeping your resume on file, uh, what's been done with it, the ability to say, delete that and claw back that data, right? Uh, we call that a DSAR request in the data privacy world. And you know, people don't understand you have that right uh, to contact these big digital agencies and claw back your digital footprint. You just have to really be thoughtful about how you set your privacy settings in all these applications and then read their privacy statement if you want your data deleted. Now let's, I want to talk about something that's happened in my lifetime because yeah, I'm 78 years old, still working. And there are a lot of us out there now. And I'm doing it not because I have to, but because I want to. I enjoy what I'm doing. It gives me purpose. Uh, back in the day, back in the day, after I got out of school, you went to work for an employer and there was a loyalty factor. The employer was loyal to you and you were loyal to the employer. As long as you did your job, you showed up on time, you did your work, you got paid and compensated for your work. And you stayed with that employer. That's not the case anymore, is it? They're changing jobs right and left now today, aren't they? I mean, it's relative. It depends on the industry and it depends on the person. But I would respond to that theology with this. People today are loyal to people, not brands, but yeah. the individuals that contribute to their individual success. So whether it's a sense of entitlement or 
a new wave of how we think about loyalty. I think these loyalties are localized. Uh, they're far less globalized and people want to feel like they're making an impact. It's not enough to just have a job. People want to feel like they're making an impact and if they're just going through the motions. Yeah, they're probably going to leave. What role has the uh, decline of defined benefits had in all of this and the movement toward the 401k, for example, you know, in the old days, you went to work for an employer and you expected at a certain period in your employment life, you would retire and there would be a pot of gold waiting for you of a certain size that the employer through whatever means provided. Now you're expected to provide your own pot of gold. Has that had to come into, has that come into play in the loyalty issue? I don't know if it has in a thoughtful way, meaning that job seekers are thinking about the pot of gold and making decisions based on the pot of gold. Look, I think two things have happened that have changed, particularly the next generation of workers in our workforce right now. The first of which is it's much easier to trade stocks online than it ever was. Access and ability for people to invest their money, whether it's a hundred bucks or a hundred thousand bucks, is so much more accessible to the individual than it was 10 years ago. And so I don't know that people rely on their companies to think about their future for them financially in the same way that they might have two or three generations ago. And that has a big factor in it, and that's technology coming into play and changing our society and the way we think about the future based on our access to services that we didn't have before. But all of that aside, Art, I also think the biggest trend, and one third of Americans fall into this category, it's a gig economy, man. People love contract work because it alleviates the burden that you talked about before, which is loyalty to a brand. People's bosses change all the time today in corporate America. And if they're not loyal to that person, they're going to leave or look for a different department to move over to. But if you're an, a, a gig economy worker, you're always moving around. You're sampling all sorts of different leaders. You're finding all different companies where you can take your niche skill set and make an impact again and again and again, and hopefully increase the monetization of that skill set that continues to make an impact. That's a great philosophy as long as one thing happens. There's a gig after the last gig. When the gigs dry up, you're out there. With reward comes risk. And that's that's what we've moved to, isn't it? And and that's happening more and more, isn't it? It is. I mean, the statistics are thirty five percent of Americans are working on contract basis and have either sought out health care through their uh, government or are paying for it on their own. And quite frankly, most of the people that I work with make enough margin above and beyond what they would make in full time positions that they can pay for their own health insurance, and it's a wash and their own taxes. Correct. <laughs> because they're gig employees, as you said. So Correct. tell me about tell me about your company, True Staffing. What are you dealing? What do you specialize in? Sure. So we specialize in data privacy, protection, cybersecurity, and e-discovery. So anything along the data lifecycle from the time data is created and all the programs that support the regulatory environments around collecting and using that data, all the way downstream to the security protection of that data. And finally, if there's litigation, the collection, preservation, and production of that data. So IT is, is one of the STEM industries, you know, science, technology, engineering, math. Are kids going into that field? You find that there is a supply of workers coming out of the universities and the, and the schools to supply the need? Well, that's two separate questions. The answer to your first one is absolutely. People are definitely going into STEM, and rightfully so. There are more jobs in that category than anywhere else. The second answer to your question is not so much. Uh, we have a lot of we have a lot of students that are coming out of undergrad in particular that are struggling to find work. And that's because the market right now for most skilled workers requires experience. So it is still a challenge for people coming out of college to break in, particularly at the salaries that many of these students feel entitled to ask for or need to ask for in order to pay their debt. Uh, it's been a challenge. I don't know that the market right now is yearning for people that don't have the plug and play skills they need to do the job they're staffing for because most people are understaffed. 
And, well, you would think that these companies then would create training programs to take these youngsters on at uh, a reduced salary until they're fully trained so that they some can. Do. And some do. I would have to believe some do. They'd have to, wouldn't they? Yeah. And I think, you know, as you mentioned, PwC in the news earlier before, organizations of that ilk definitely have very robust campus recruitment programs, training initiatives, and do pull from that uh, pull from that talent pool. But, you know, how many employees is that really? Yeah. Versus how many jobs are out there. That's right. Well, Jared, it is always great to talk to you. And uh, we'll have to do it again down the road to see how we're doing. You mentioned the fourth quarter. So maybe sometime in the middle or toward the end of the fourth quarter, we'll see how your predictions come true. I'd love to come back and, and test the water. And uh, yeah. I appreciate you having me as always, Art. It's always fun. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye-bye now. Jared Casiglia, CEO of True Staffing. And uh, we talk about workplace uh, and employee questions and uh, enjoy chatting with him here on the Art Lewis Show. We will be back. So long, Jared. And we will be back after these notes. We are proud to make Pioneer Sugar for you and your family. Proud to be found in your kitchen. The and it doesn't really matter what you make with Pioneer Sugar. Whether it's with our granulated white, light brown, or soft confectioners, it's the memories you'll make using it that will matter the most. Pioneer Sugar, pure and all natural, made from sugar beets grown right here. What could... Michigan, it's time to play Lie or Law. Lie or Law. Drivers must allow at least three feet when passing bike riders. It's the state law. Bike riders must ride in the direction of traffic. It's a state law. If anyone... It's a lie. Know the law, and remember, it's everybody's road, everybody's rules. Sponsored by the Michigan Office of Highway Safety Planning and the Michigan Association of Broadcasters. I am so ready to go back to work. I just need a chance. So where do I start? MidMichiganWork.com More Bark is now hiring welders and other skilled positions. No training? No problem. Apply for Morbark's welder training program and earn while you learn. For more details on this position, other local companies that are hiring, and how to apply, go to midmichiganwork.com. That's midmichiganwork.com. Oh. 82% of people remember radio ads. That means that 82% of you listening right now will remember that this is an ad for ZipRecruiter. If you're hiring, 82% of you will recall that ZipRecruiter makes hiring faster and easier. And 82% of you will note that you can try ZipRecruiter for free today. But you have to go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. Like, 82% of you will keep in mind that ZipRecruiter's technology finds qualified people for your job and actively invites them to apply. Who are you talking to? 82% of you will also know that I um, live with my mom. But the most important thing to note is that ZipRecruiter works. In fact, four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a qual day. Will you be part of the 82% who remember where you can try ZipRecruiter for free? It's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. Again, that exclusive link is ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. Yes, radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. If you owe the IRS back taxes, then get ready to pay up. The IRS has giant private collection agencies actively tracking down folks who... Oh, if you think dodging them was stressful in the past, it's going to get a whole lot tougher. Optima Tax Relief has this advice. Don't wait. Solve your tax problems now before it's too late. Optima Tax Relief works to stop the demand letters, stop the aggressive collection actions, and stop the IRS collectors from targeting you. Ask Optima about the Fresh Start Initiative, one of the biggest breaks the IRS has ever offered. If you qualify, you could save thousands, and nobody knows this program better than they do. Optima is a plus rate. Oh, and they get results, having resolved over a billion dollars of tax debt for their clients. Get a fresh start. Call today for your free consultation. Call 800-709-7022. 800-709-7022. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. This is the Stone Specialist Studios, 100.5 News Radio WSGW, 790. SGW.
All right, welcome back. The Art Lewis Show here on WSGW. Nice to have you with us. And uh, we'll have open phones for the remainder of the show. 7526111 in the state of Michigan, toll free 866-790-WSGW. Outside the state of Michigan, call 989-752-6111. That'll be easy. Uh, I want to continue the thought just for a moment of what we were talking about with Jared Casiglia. If you're an employee and your employer says to you, you must get vaccinated if you're coming into our building. Or you must wear a mask if you're coming into our building. What's your response? Will you risk your employment? If you've not been vaccinated, would you get vaccinated? Now, it's an individual question. Everybody's going to look at it differently. If my employer told me I had to get vaccinated to come into the building, I'd get vaccinated. Well, I've already been vaccinated. As a matter of fact, yesterday we got our booster shots. And no ill effects for me. My wife was feeling eh, a little draggy, but not bad. And for me, I don't even have a sore arm today, which surprised me. But uh, again, it's my personal decision. I want to do that. I didn't do it because my employer said I had to do it. I did it because for me and my family, it was the right thing to do. But the question remains, how far do mandates carry? Would you follow them? If you're a parent, you send your youngster to school. Do you believe schools should mandate masks? Should school systems mandate that all employees be vaccinated? How far do we carry it? And what would be your response if you were told you had to? Would you risk or maybe just give up your job and look for something else someplace else that didn't require that? It wouldn't affect me because I believe in the vaccine. I wanted to be first in line when I could to get the vaccine. I haven't waited to get the booster shot. And I believe it's the right thing to do. I don't speak for everyone, obviously. And as I tell people all the time, it's a decision that should be made between you and your doctor. Not a political figure, not a talk show host, your doctor. I think too many people are only listening to what they want to hear and what they believe to be true, whether it's true or not. That's why I say, talk to your doctor. Get the advice of your medical professional who knows your health, should know your health anyway, and can make a recommendation based on your needs. There's too much reliance on unreliable sources today for information. If you think everything you get off the Internet is the right thing, I got some sad news for you. I think social media, on the one hand, provides a great service, allows for communication and family and friends and all of that. And on the other hand, it's one of the big banes of society, full of misinformation, unsubstantiated claims, conspiracy theories, you name it. You can find it on the Internet. And if you only search for the things you believe, you're never going to hear the other side. You're never going to have a way to balance information to come to your own conclusion. You're only going to get one side. 
and it's the side you want. So whether you're right or wrong doesn't make any difference. It's what you want to hear. Talk shows are the same way. Politicians are the same way. So anyway, that's where we are today. We're in a world where the pandemic has turned things upside down and topsy-turvy. And no end in sight. All right, we're going to take a break. Again, lines are open for you. They will be open for the next hour also, so we will have open phones. Talk about that or anything else you want to talk about, give us a call. We'd love to chat with you. Hi, I'm Terry Rock. Are you happy with your Medicare? I am now, after I met the pros at Medicare Choices. Yes, you do have choices when it comes to Medicare coverage. No cookie cutter plan for me. You buy a pair of shoes if they fit. Get the right fit. A customized plan designed just for you that helps you protect that hard-earned retirement income. Call 989-899-7820, medicarechoicesinfo.com. We'll walk you through every step. Oh, wow. I love what you've done to your kitchen. Thanks. We did new countertops and a new sink and faucet. Oh, it looks great. Did you do all the work yourself? Oh, no. We worked with the remodeling department at Reamer Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. They helped us select the right choice for us from their wide selection of countertop material. And we love it. We shopped around. Best selection and the best pricing. So, what's your next project? Well, since we love our new kitchen, we plan to do the bathroom next. Oh, wow. This time, we'll go straight to Reamer. You should see all the new things they have for the bathroom. Visit the showroom at Reamer Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning to see countertop displays of Cambria Quartz and Corian. Kitchen sinks made of Corian, stainless steel, quartz, swanstone, and cast iron. Plus a large display of kitchen faucets from several manufacturers. One is perfect for your lifestyle and budget. Shop local. Shop Reamer. Go to ReamerPlumbing.com. Anyway, you spell it. Research shows people remember radio ads that remind them of the past. So to help you remember that Liberty Mutual is your home insurance so you only pay for what you need, here's an ad that'll really take you back. Back in my day, I heard a voice from the radio say, Liberty Mutual customizes my home insurance so I only pay for what I need. I'm getting on in years now, but <laughs> heavens to Betsy, there are some things an old fella like me just never forgets. Only pay for what you need at LibertyMutual.com. Liberty, 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 Liberty. If you've got a small business, you know there's nothing more valuable than your time. So why waste it at the post office? Stamps.com makes it easy to mail and ship right from your computer. No special equipment required. Whether you're in office sending invoices, a side hustle Etsy shop, or a full-blown warehouse shipping out orders, Stamps.com will make your life easier. You'll even get exclusive discounts on postage and shipping from USPS and UPS. And their new rate advisor tool lets you compare shipping rates across carriers. Find the best option. Save time and money with Stamps.com. There's no risk. And when you go to Stamps.com and use offer code FOCUS, you'll receive a four-week free trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com. Click on the microphone at the top and enter code FOCUS. That's Stamps.com, promo code FOCUS. Stamps.com. Never go to the post office again. The WSGW Morning Team Show. WSW online poll, potential presidential assassin, and freedom. So a judge has ruled John Hinckley Jr., a man who attempted to assassinate President Reagan and wounded three others. <laughs> Originally found not guilty by reason of insanity, will be released unconditionally in June 2022. Until stability. At this time, he's living under medical care, overseen by doctors and therapists. His computer passwords are tracked. He can't have a gun. Not allowed to contact any family members of the victims. The poll question, do you think that John Hinckley Jr., the man who attempted to assassinate President Reagan and did shoot three others, should he be unconditionally released from prison, provided he displays mental stability? Yes? No? I'm not sure. Make your votes at WSW.com. Scroll down the whole page. Find the poll box and vote that way. The Morning Team Show, weekdays 5.30 to 9 on 100.5 and 790 News Radio WSGW. All right, we're back with you on the Art Lewis Show. And let's get to our phones. In Bay City, we find Terry this morning. Terry, good morning. 
Terry, good morning. How are you doing? Hello there. Uh, hello. I can hear you, but not, not very well. Okay, hold on. I'm going to switch here. That better? That's better. Yeah, I was on my truck phone. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, if uh, you and Terry are in your school and it could be a kid or whatever, and uh, you got your COVID shot and everything, and just say some people are still can get sick and uh, is Lee Free going to be uh, soon in the uh, school or something? Don't do nothing to protect your children or your employer. Don't do health and safety to protect you? Well, I don't, I don't know. What do you think? I'm, I'm sure that he's got it all figured out already. You think? I mean, if, I think the employer protects you or you, the employees there or you going to get sued. Uh, if, if not, why is why can't you take a gun into work? What is that? That's just protection for the employees. Yeah, I know. I understand what you're saying. I'm not sure all employers have that kind of policy in place. Be nice, but I'm not sure that they all do. Well, what about the schools? I live my child. Well, schools because you didn't wear a mask and he dies. Whose fault is it? It's the schools. Um, I, I wonder if I wonder if that would hold though. I, I really do. I, I understand what you're saying and I understand the premise. I'm just not sure of the legality. But then again, I'm not a lawyer either, so so who knows? But you know, listen, as far as the suit goes, you can sue anybody for anything anytime. So I imagine there would be lawsuits. I, I believe that you get the uh, right lawyer to be hard to uh, spend lots of money defending it if they didn't win. Well, yeah. Well, you also have to have the right judge. <laughs> yeah. The lawyer only presents the case, in case you know. Teaching your kids that you can uh, infect other people and make them sick is not a good, good thing. Why is that not a good thing to teach your youngsters? How interaction that they can make that they don't have to wear a mask that they can go kill other people with. Oh no, no, I thought you meant it the other way. Okay. No, no, absolutely not. <laughs> okay, I got you. All right. I mean that's a bad. Okay, you have a good day. Fair enough, Terry. Thanks. I appreciate the call. Thanks. And uh, Paul is in Saginaw. Paul, good morning. Good morning, Art. Uh, Art, I got two ish. First one is uh, I remember. Uh, uh, seeing uh, Ernie Harwell do his baseball broadcast wearing a black French beret artist hat and his glasses, and he looked really good. And I saw you Tuesday with your shiny dome. I thought, I think maybe the uh, French beret hat would look good on you. No, you, uh, I'm proud of my shiny dome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll forget that one then. Uh, <laughs> did you ever see Ernie Harwell with his artist? Oh, I, I knew Ernie. I've met Ernie several times. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Well, the other issue is uh, I was listening to a broadcast uh, yesterday on the Republic Broadcasting Network. Never heard of them. And they interviewed. They well, it's a uh, it's a uh, they got nine programs that you can listen to when you dial a phone number. But anyway, they interviewed two Army colonel doctors. And these two Army colonel doctors said they can prove that the vaccines will increase the inflammation around the lining of your heart. That's what gives you the fatigue. But uh, it's a small price to pay to keep you from getting uh, COVID. So... Uh, so that's so two out of millions. How come the rest haven't spoken up? Well, uh, the rest haven't done the research that these two oh, come now. doctors have done. They all read the same uh, journals. They all read the same papers. They all do the same research. That would be, if, if, if that were actually the case, that it, it, it caused that inflammation in the lining, it would be everywhere. Not just on one program on one relatively small network. 
Well, uh, this uh, uh, is research that probably a lot of uh, uh, they don't want to make public, keep it private, uh, secret, whatever. And uh, but anyway, uh, you know, the, this inflammation isn't going to kill you necessarily. Now, some people, if they have medical conditions, it could. But overall, it's a small price to pay to keep from getting COVID. Let me ask you a question, though, Paul. Isn't this an example of what I just said? We tend to seek out the things we believe and we want to hear. You had to physically dial in that number to hear them. You did that because you believe what they say. No, no, I don't. There's a lot of things they have on those programs I don't agree with. I just want to hear different points of view. You know, you just can't listen to one point of view. You've got to you got to have a balance there. and then. No, I agree with that. Absolutely. Uh, so, but uh, that's what they were saying on this program, these two Army colonel doctors. And they were both females, by the way. And uh, they uh, they did a lot of research on this. So, but, uh, I thought I'd just uh, toss that out there and see what uh, your listeners think. All right. Good enough. All right. Thanks. Take care. All Bye-bye right. now. Have a good one. Yep. Bye bye now. All right, uh, we're going to uh, take a pause here at the end of the hour and move over for the news and all that good stuff. Then we'll be back next hour with open phones for the entire hour on a variety of topics on this open line Friday. So we'd love to chat with you about whatever's on your mind, and we will do that after these notes coming up next. Many people are feeling overwhelmed and struggling with mental wellness these days. Call the Michigan COVID-19 hotline at 1-888-535-6136 and press 8 to talk with a stable counselor. It's free and confidential. Learn gov slash stay well. Sponsored by the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services and the Michigan Association of Broadcasters. If you've got a small business, you know there's nothing more valuable than your time. So why waste it at the post office? Stamps.com makes it easy to mail and ship right from your computer. No special equipment required. Whether you're in office sending invoices, a side hustle Etsy shop, or a full-blown warehouse shipping out orders, Stamps.com will make your life easier. You'll even get exclusive discounts on postage and shipping from USPS and UPS. And their new rate advisor tool lets you compare shipping rates across carriers. Please find the best option. Save time and money with Stamps.com. There's no risk. And when you go to Stamps.com and use offer code FOCUS, you'll receive a four-week free trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com. Click on the microphone at the top and enter code FOCUS. That's Stamps.com, promo code FOCUS. Stamps.com. Never go to the post office again. RocketGrabPlus.com. This week's deal on RocketGrabPlus.com is for the Vino Wine Warehouse. You're going to get a $30 gift certificate for the Vino Wine Warehouse Fall Festival. $15. That's half off. The Vino Wine Warehouse features over a thousand retail wine items, 16 draft craft beers, and a full liquor section with a unique modern menu. Head to RocketGrabPlus.com right now to snag your deal. RocketGrabPlus.com. Scope swings, lines and down the left field line, hooking at the foul pole. Gone! Jonathan Scope's sizzling line drive home run is 22nd of the year. The Tigers play 750 tonight on 790 News Radio WSGW. All right, we are heading up toward the top of the hour. We'll have news from CBS, the National and International Report. The local report comes along to tell you what's happening in the Great Lakes Bay region and the state of Michigan. And then we'll be back with an open line edition for the next hour here on the Art Lewis Show. Talk to you after the news. From the Stone Specialist Studios, this is WSGW, Saginaw, Bay City, Midland, WSGW-FM, Carlton. This is CBS News on the Hour, presented by Indeed.com. 
I'm Deborah Rodriguez. The drug maker Merck says it's developed the first pill to treat COVID-19. CBS News medical contributor Dr. David Agus. This pill, which is twice a day, taken for five days, molnupiravir, um, reduced hospitalization uh, by 50 50- with mild to moderate COVID-19 with at least one risk factor. Those include obesity, diabetes, or heart disease. Merck says it stopped monitoring its trial early because the results were so promising. Now the company will apply to the FDA for emergency use authorization. A member of the Supreme Court has been infected. Correspondent Steve Dorsey is in Washington. The Supreme Court says Justice Brett Kavanaugh tested positive during routine COVID-19 screening. The 56-year-old has no symptoms and is fully vaccinated. Kavanaugh Kavanaugh had been planning to attend a ceremony for the court's newest justice, Amy Coney Barrett. The rest of the justices were tested and none came up positive. A legal challenge to a new abortion law is going before a judge. CBS is Jim Crisula. A federal judge today will consider a Biden administration lawsuit to temporarily block the most restrictive abortion law in the country. It bans most abortions and has prompted to get care. Opponents say the law is the biggest challenge to the constitutional right to an abortion in a half century. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says she may hold a vote on President Biden's $1 trillion infrastructure package a day after she called it off over continued pushback from progressives. CBS News chief political analyst John Dickerson. This is a debate within a party. Everybody's wearing the same jersey. It's a family debate. And this is what happens with legislation. It's messy. There are serious things at stake. More than a month after Hurricane Ida slammed into Louisiana, thousands of people still have no power. CBS's Jesse Mitchell checked in with members of the Hodge family south of New Orleans. What's your biggest concern now? The mildew in the ceiling and mold growing and contaminating it that will be unlivable here. It won't be able to live here. A couple of music icons released a new album this morning. Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga's second collection of duets and the old was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. She tells CBS in 60 Minutes, Bennett can't hold a conversation, but he can still sing. When that music comes on, it's something happens to him. He knows exactly what he's doing. And what's important for me, actually, just to make sure that I don't get in the way of that. The full interview with Gaga airs Sunday on CBS. The Dow is up 140 points. This is CBS News. Indeed helps find great hires fast. Indeed is your all-in-one platform for interviewing, screening, and hiring high-quality people. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. At Golden Harvest, our best skill is knowing how to listen. From our Gold Series soybean and game-changing corn portfolios to our expert insights housed in the Illuminate Digital Agronomy Platform. Everything we offer is an answer to what we've heard from you. This is how we listen. Copyright 2021 Syngenta. Herein are the property of a Syngenta Group company. All other trademarks are the property of their respective owners. Research shows that people remember radio ads with British accents. So to help you remember that Liberty Mutual Insurance Company customizes your home insurance so you only pay for what you need, Take it from a Brit. Oi, balmy insurance bloke stuttering dosh out your pocket. It's balmy. Liberty Mutual won't leave your skint, mate. Uh, can you just say Liberty Mutual customizes your home insurance so you only pay for what you need? I think that's what I said, you blooming. Only pay for what you need at LibertyMutual.com. Liberty, 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 Liberty. For eligible individuals 18 or older only, not available in Oregon or West Virginia, results vary. See website for details and important safety information. How are your hearing aids sounding now? A little tinny. Okay, two seconds. With hearing aids from Lively, everything is done remotely in the comfort of your home, from initial testing to adjustments. How are they sounding now? Fantastic. So much better. With Lively, you get premium Bluetooth-enabled hearing aids at thousands less than you might expect. The best hearing and convenient. Your hearing aids are sent right to your door. And if you have any issues, we'll make adjustments seven days a week. No charge. Ah, you people at Lively are wonderful. With Lively hearing aids, you get free shipping. Three years of follow-up care included free, plus a three-year warranty with loss and damage coverage. You can't lose. I hear better than I ever thought possible. Now get $100 off your hearing aids when you go to listenlively.com slash listenlively.com slash radio. L-I-S-T-E-N-L-I-V-E-L-Y dot com slash R-A-D-I-O. Live 
from the 100.5 and 790 Newsroom. This is WSGW News. Sunny skies and 58 degrees at 1005. Good morning, I'm Mike Kircher. Two people are dead in what police in Saginaw and Buena Vista Township are calling a murder-suicide. Police responded last night around 8 p.m. to the area of Wadsworth and Outer Drive for what appeared to be the suicide of a man at the location. This morning, Saginaw police were dispatched to the 300 block of North 21st Street, where a resident found the deceased body of his friend after returning home from work. The body was that of 48-year-old Lawanda Drake, mother of the deceased man. The location is also close to where the man's body was found. Police believe the man was the assailant in the murder of Drake. Both police departments incidents. State police troopers responded to a crash in Tuscola County this morning. Police say a 21-year-old Mount Morris man was driving a 2009 Ford Fusion South on Bray Road near Birch Run Road in Arbella Township around 1220 when the vehicle left the road. It crashed into a ditch and flipped, striking a tree. The driver and a 23-year-old Traverse City man died at the scene. A 22-year-old woman and a 20-year-old man, both from Clio, hospital with life-threatening injuries, alcohol, and speed may be contributing factors in the crash. Police also responded to another crash in Tuscola County yesterday around 6.30 p.m. Troopers were dispatched to Saginaw and Mertz Roads for a two-vehicle injury crash. The 57-year-old Vassar man was heading west on Saginaw Road and began to turn left onto Mertz. The driver failed to see an eastbound vehicle driven by a 37-year-old Clifford man, and the two vehicles crashed. One-year-old female passenger were taken to an out-of-county hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The Clifford man sought his own treatments. WSGW News Time, 10.07. It all started some 36 years ago, and the tradition continues. Johnson's Giant Pumpkin Farm on North Portsmouth Road is ready for all ages. Whether it's your first picture with a pumpkin, a chance to see a farm animal, or maybe it's that 100th don't. At Johnson's Giant Pumpkin Farm is perfect fall family fun. Take the challenge with the 13-acre corn maze, or the little ones can tackle the soybean maze or the sunflower maze. The huge craft store is open with more vendors than ever. Mums, pumpkins, gourds, corn stalks, straw, and other fall decorations. A concession stand with plenty of seating all around the grounds. And of course, fresh donuts, fresh daily, cinnamon and sugar, plain or frosted, and special flavors on the weekends. Farm animals with acres and acres to wander. See the trebuchet, that huge pumpkin chucker in action on weekends along with the kids' barrel train ride. Check out all the special events and rides every week by going to johnsonsgiantpumpkins.com or like them on 715 North Portsmouth Road, three miles east of I-75 on the Carrow exit. Open till Halloween. Oh, and did we say donuts? WSGW News Time, 1008. The weather forecast is coming up. Four local health departments in the Michigan have rescinded their school masking requirements, despite Governor Gretchen Whitmer saying she will not enforce Republican-written budget provisions that threaten funding for counties with COVID-19 orders. Allegan County and the Barry, Barry Eaton District repealed their mask mandates Thursday. Berrien County did so on Wednesday, while the Health Department for Dickinson and Iron Counties acted last week. Whitmer signed the spending plan Wednesday, but said the provisions related to local mask and quarantine orders are unconstitutional and have no effect. The state will not withhold funding. The issue could go to court. DTE Energy says it was not the reason Ford bypassed Michigan for its latest big investment. Here's more from Jeff Gilberts. Some have cited energy costs as a big reason why Ford went to Kentucky and Tennessee for battery plants, which use a lot of electricity. DTE Energy now saying that if Ford had selected a site in Michigan, they would have worked with them on competitive energy pricing, as they always do. It's an important message as car makers and suppliers look to find locations for battery plants. Some analysts saying that even with the new investment, Ford will only have half of the battery capacity that it will need. Authorities were looking into a weekend fire at a southwestern Michigan recreational area as a suspected arson. DNR Resources Sergeant Charles Towns says in a release that the investigation was continuing, but initial evidence suggests the fire on Sunday at the Allegan State Game Area area in Valley Township was intentionally set. A helicopter crew reported the blaze around 5 a.m. Sunday morning. Officials believe the fire was started between 10 p.m. Saturday and 2 a.m. Sunday. The DNR says it burned two decks of cut timber, 
estimated to be worth thirty to thirty-five thousand dollars. WSGW News Time ten ten. I'm Mike Percha. Here's your WSGW weatherology forecast. Mostly sunny skies here for today with a high into the mid-70s. Winds out of the southwest around 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for tonight, partly cloudy sky conditions, although near 54. By Saturday, sunshine up to 78 degrees. Then by Sunday, a chance for showers and thunderstorms. Cloudy skies with a high around 72. Monday, we'll have a chance for some rain showers here. Cloudy high around 71. Then by Tuesday, partial sunshine develops a high of 68. Wednesday, partly sunny sky conditions, a high around 70 degrees. I'm meteorologist Jennifer Vucitsky with the WSGW Weatherology Forecast. Currently, it's 56. Now, the only local radio talk show offering you the chance to ask your questions and express your opinions. From around your block to around the world, the Art Lewis Show is on 100.5 and 790 WSGW and online wsgw.com well all right welcome back hour number two of the art lewis show here on wsgw an open phone hour whatever you'd like to chat about you can give us a call 752 752- 6111 in the state of Michigan, 866-790-WSGW. Outside the state or inside the state, 989-752-6111. That'll put you in touch with us. Again, open phones, and we've got a caller who uh, waited through the news, so we will go to our phones to start the hour. Tim is in Bay City. Tim, good morning. Tim, are you there? Hello, Tim. Okay, no Tim. Let's move to Carl in Saginaw. Carl, good morning. Good morning, Art. There we are. Good morning. Can you believe it? Yes, good morning, Art. Can you believe it's October already? Yeah. You know, I and I measure it a different way. I, I hear what you're saying, and I absolutely agree with you. It is also the end of the baseball season in terms of the Tiger season. They've got three games left. I can remember back in the spring saying, oh, boy, summer's coming and the baseball season is here. (laughs) It's gone. (laughs) So, yeah, I know. Time flies. It It sure does. Yes, it sure does. I know the weather's been really nice, you know, lately. I've really been enjoying this. Yeah, knock on wood. You're right. Cool mornings and the, the low humidity and all that. Um, during your guest the first hour, you were talking about pensions versus 401ks. Yeah. And um, I understand, you know, that's the way everything is going today. That's the trend and all that. But I also heard just recently that the average average 401k has about enough money in it to last the average person about two years. So I, I'm not sure that, you know, everybody points to the 401k. Yeah, they, you know, everybody has to save for themselves and they should be planning ahead. But I just, I don't think a lot of people are, you know. They're not, they're not taking advantage necessarily you know, of what the employers are offering or matching. And I think a lot of people are going to be surprised when they go to retire. Yeah, it's probably true. That 401k is not going to be a magic bullet, you know, that solves everybody's problem. No, that's probably, there's probably truth to that because we, up until recently, we were not a saving society. Uh, the 401k has probably accelerated our desire to save, but is it perfect? And is everybody doing it? Probably not. Uh, and, and are they doing it to a sufficient size? Probably not. Uh, you know, but then again, where does personal responsibility come into all that, Carl? I'm not saying they shouldn't. Oh, no, I understand that. I understand that, but if they don't, are we then obligated to provide them with a, you know, a, a, the style of living they've been accustomed to, so to speak? 
I would think that a safety net, you know, there's going to be social security. There's still going to be a safety net, you know, right. No, it may not mean, it may not mean the lifestyle that you were planning on for retirement. That's right. You don't do it right. But it's your responsibility. You did it. You did it to yourself. That's right. So, I mean, you know, it's, I, I think the problem with defined benefits is they got out of hand and nobody could afford them anymore. Uh, you look at cities and look at the, you know, governmental bodies that still have defined benefit programs and they're underwater with them. They don't have them fully funded because they can't afford to, uh, it was an, it was inevitable. Yeah. You know, well, you know, you've talked about how the pendulum swings yep. and it probably swung too far in the direction of these, you know, never ending, you know, open-ended benefit packages that just go on and on. And then again, you know, when some of those contracts were signed to be 85, 95 years old. <laughs> exactly. But yeah. Social Security is in the same boat. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I mean, that's anything based on an actuarial table is in trouble. Except the insurance yeah. companies who can change their rates every day if they want, you know. Yeah, but some of those cities, you know, those programs were set up like that. Oh, that's sure. Or oh, before that, well, yeah. People, but people didn't live that long. They, like you said before, they retired, and then a few years later, they passed on. And yep. If they were lucky. Yep. Yep. And and, and this is kind of a, a – speaking about, you know, spending and, and not paying for things, you know, that's kind of the way I see this. The, the debt limit and, you know, the raising the national debt. Um, the way I see it, this money has already been spent. You know, it's like you went out and spent money on your credit card. And then when the credit card bill comes due, you say, oh, no, you know, I've got a budget. I'm not going to pay that. Well, you already spent the money. Right. You know, it, it, to me, it's a little late to say, well, well, here's my here's my feeling. Here's my feeling on it. The government has spent it and taken out loans to do it, which is what bonds are. The government borrows money. Then the government owes that money and needs to pay that money. So the debt ceiling has to reflect that. The question is, can you control future spending by saying we're not going to raise the debt ceiling. Don't spend any more money. Janet Yellen wants this the opposite. She wants no debt ceiling. She wants it gone. Unlimited. And what do you think of that? Maybe that's what she wants. Well, maybe that's what she wants. Yeah, but, but no, she's the secretary of the treasury. <laughs> yeah. There should be there should be a there should be a debt limit, but you know when Trump was president, it was raised. Oh, I know that. Time and, time again. and so it was with every other president. Yes, and it should be again, unless we want the stock market to crash. And then the people that do have 401ks yep. you know, are going are gonna to see a hit you know, in their retirement funds. Well, you, you, know, have to, you don't have to look ahead. You can just look back a week or so ago when it was rumored that the uh, Chinese company wasn't going to make its debt ceiling and the market took a big plunge. Uh, sure, that's what would happen. It would be even bigger if the United States said, no, even we're going to default. Yeah, absolutely. Even worse. No no yeah. question about so, it. We shouldn't be playing chicken, you know, with something like that. Yes, you can, uh, you can debate future spending all you want. But like I said, you've already spent this money. Now it's time to pay the bill. Yeah, so, no, I, I, I agree with that. But like everything else in Washington, everybody looks for leverage. Everybody looks for their advantage. It becomes a political sure. football. In the end, in the end, when push comes to shove, they sit down and they figure it out. But in and the meantime, this and paying attention to it, it's just so frustrating. You know, yes, yeah. I, just, I just want to put my head in my hands and just, oh my God, just do something. You know, just yeah. But you know what? Something. It's not new been going on forever no we I know, I know you know it's not new at all not new in any way shape or form how many times has the debt ceiling been debated and brought up to the you know right up to the precipice of failure before oh, they yeah. settle we've it shut, we've shut the national parks and all that stuff before and well they're two different uh, things i mean that's the government funding uh you know that yeah, yeah that's that's they've see they, they brought that to the precipice and 
neither side wanted to take blame for shutting the government down again. So so that's pushed off to December, I guess. Yeah, December 3rd, I think it is. Yeah. And then we'll go through it all over. Oh, absolutely. Of course. <laughs> Unless we have a budget okay. by then, which is not likely. So, all right, Carl. Yeah. What did you think of the Michigan budget? You know, Whitmer signed the budget in Michigan. Or, you know, or I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was six minutes, six months late. <laughs> this is what I thought of it, but uh, I guess given given the pandemic and the money coming in from the federal government, they could afford to do things they might not have been able to do before. Uh, you know, there's money in there for roads. I hope they're talking about local roads, not just the state roads and the federal yes. roads. Uh, but I don't know that for a fact because I haven't really done a detailed dive into that budget yet. Uh, I will take a look at it. But overall, uh, I mean, overall, it was a compromise like everything else that happens. Uh, so I... Uh, I guess I'm going to look at it and say, okay, is this good for the state? And after I read it and take a look at it, I'll let you know. Okay. But I, I think over, I think overall, from just the, the little snippets that I've heard about it, uh, it seems to be a relatively solid piece of legislation. And she was, you know, and and she has the line item veto, which the president, of course, doesn't have in the United States. So she was able to extract the parts she didn't want. And she has said that uh, she thinks the uh, uh, that some issues in it are not constitutional and won't hold up. But we move on. We'll see what happens. But overall, it seemed to be pretty good. We'll find out. All right, Carl. Have a, have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye now. All right, we're going to take a break. Uh, come back with more. Lines open for you. Give us a call. Scotland Transportation, a family-owned company in Alma, is now hiring OTR regional truck drivers. Make 100K first year, hourly with overtime, and enjoy a set schedule. Out five days, home two days, with a $3 an hour weekend premium. One year experience necessary, CDLA required. Hazmat tanker endorsement preferred, but if not, Scotland will pay for yours. Medical, dental, and paid vacations and holidays and more. Apply today. Call 989-463-4242. Come drive for Scotland. The pandemic's reminded us we live in a sea of airborne germs that can assault us with every breath. Your nose is the body's first line of defense by helping filter out allergens, bacteria, and viruses before they reach your lungs. But like any air filter, the more clogged up it gets, the less it works. So how do you clean your nose? I'm Martin Hoke, and I didn't invent nasal irrigation. The neti pot's been around thousands of years. Navage to make cleaning your nose easy. Navage uses powered suction to flush out mucus and germs that cause congestion or worse, can make you sick. Over 2 million people use Navage to breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and feel healthier without drugs. Navage has over 70,000 online reviews averaging 4.7 stars because it works and it's easy to use. Go to Navage.com or find Navage at Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, Bed Bath, and Target. Now available with eucalyptus for a spa. Vaj, N-A-V-A-G-E, clean nose, healthy life. RocketGrabPlus.com The days of paying full price are over. And at RocketGrabPlus.com, we are here always giving you the deals that you need. You can get tons of half-off deals going on right now from Fat Matt's Barbecue, Uplift Creative Center, Joyce's Purple Palettes, Woody's Hot Dogs, King's Fish and More, and the Hamptons Boutique Tanning and Salon. Half off? Yeah, it's true. And it's all at RocketGrabPlus.com. RocketGrabPlus.com I'm Neil Cavuto, and this is the Fox Business Report. Stocks opened higher. Merck shares are rallying. Its experimental COVID-19 pill appears to cut the risk of becoming and dying from COVID. It was developed with biotherapeutics. Investors are waiting to see if there's progress toward a spending package after plans for a vote were dropped last night. Caterpillar, Deer & Company, and Nucor are among companies that would benefit the most from government spending on infrastructure. Consumer spending increased more than expected in August, up eight-tenths of a percent. Another report confirms Americans are paying more for things. A reading on core inflation in August remained elevated. 
And Neiman Marcus says the online accounts of nearly 5 million of its customers have been breached in a cybersecurity leak. That's your Fox Business Report. I'm Ginny Cosola, invested in you. This year, the Tuttle to Towers Foundation is honoring heroes with 200 mortgage-free homes, a never-forget walk, more than 500 in 42 days, culminating at Ground Zero on 9-11. Towers of Light tributes, a ceremony to read names aloud for those lost to 9-11 illness, and names of all lost in the war on terror are being read on Veterans Day. Donate $11 a month at T2T.org. Struggling with CPAP? Now there's Inspire, the only FDA-approved obstructive sleep apnea treatment that works inside the body to treat the root cause of sleep apnea with just the click of a button. No mask, no hose, just sleep. Visit InspireSleep.com to learn more. Saginaw Valley State University football is on WSGW. It's deflected and caught by Johnson Mack. Touchdown, Saginaw Valley. The SVSU Cardinals got back to their winning ways by blowing out Wayne State 41-21. Now the Cards return home to host rival Grand Valley State in the Battle of the Valleys. Live Saturday afternoon at 1.30 on 100.5 News Radio WSGW. SVSU football is brought to you by Forward Energy and United. Yeah. Saginaw Valley State University football is on WF. And we're back with you on the Art Lewis show. Back to our phones. Gene is in Bay City. Gene, good morning. Good morning, and thank you for taking my call. You're welcome. Uh, this morning I've been watching all this horrible situation with this young girl that was murdered by her boyfriend. And I wanted to point out a couple things to people. Guys, when, you, when parents are raising a child, you know, you have a toddler, you know, it's okay to maybe give them a swat on the butt once in a while or something if they're into <laughs> mischief. But you should never, ever, this, all the psychiatrists and psychologists will tell you, you never hit your child when you're growing up. Especially you don't hit them in the face or the head or something. Yeah. Because what happens is that gets programmed into their subconscious mind, and they believe that's part of a normal relationship subconsciously. And when they start a girl, when she starts dating, if her boyfriend would hit her, she would know it was wrong consciously, but some subconsciously, that was part of a normal relationship. So she continues to keep on seeing him. And, of course, it just gets worse. And that is the main reason that, that psychiatrists tell people never to hit their child. There are, you know, a million ways to punish kids without hitting them. Well, you know, it's been a controversy for a long, long time. Um, I, there are many, many, many youngsters who grew up in this world who were spanked as youngsters who don't have a single violent tendency and who don't subconsciously think it's right to do. Uh, and there are those who do. I mean, there are those who have been spanked and exactly what you say happens. Uh, you know, I think, uh, there's, there's moderation in everything. That's true. I was spanked yeah. when I was young, maybe twice in my life. I was, a, I was a pretty good kid. I didn't put myself in the position, but when I was, it was always on my fanny and with an open hand. Well, that's, that's what I say. And you know, it's the, you know, if a child knows he's done something wrong, and then, like you say, get, gets hit on, on the butt. That's a different situation. But if a, if a child is really not doing anything particularly bad, and because somebody had, their parent had a bad day and loses their temper and hits them over oh, yeah. a little minor thing, that's what really damages them psychology yeah. You know, yeah. uh, in their subconscious. And I would have to and hope. Women, you know, women that have been really abused by their parents they some of them will actually 
look for a man that treats them that way because it seems like a normal well, that's been part of a relationship. That's that's been an interesting that's an interesting comment because it's long been thought that a person in a bad relationship where they've been abused gets out of that relationship and finds themselves in another similar relationship and it happens time and time again. A lot of that has to do with how they view themselves and their self-esteem, uh, their self-esteem and all of that. But it's it's it. You're right. It happens. Yeah, it's uh, you know people. You know, young people need to think about that, and you know, keep their temper under control. And uh, you know, you know, and a, a woman that's raised in a normal, happy, good family, you know, a man hits her once, and that'd be the end of him. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But you know, he'd be going to jail or <laughs> whatever. But it, but it's these. Here's the other side of the know. coin, though. Here's People the. Don't realize how important parenting is. Right, but here's the other side of that coin. Because of the fact that we haven't generationally trained youngsters to be parents, we've gotten farther and farther away down that slippery slope. A lot of youngsters today have no respect. For their parents or any other authority, that's yes, not a that's good thing either. True. That's not a good thing either. You know, it's you know, my religion means so much to me, and you know, some of the things that happened, with the priests, some of these things, they not only damaged the people they were with, they also damaged everybody's relationship with God, because when you have a religious leader doing things wrong, younger people think, well, why would I want to have anything to do with religion? Look at them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, anyway, I just, that's food for thought for people. And uh, everybody be good parents. <laughs> that's all I got to say. But that's a great anyway, idea, Gene. <laughs> all right, dear. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye now. All right, uh, lines are open for you. I mean, Gene brings up, you know, some interesting points. Uh, you know, certainly the uh, the notion of spanking as punishment has been bandied about and discussed and argued about for millenniums. I mean, you know, it, it goes back a long, long way. Books were written on whether you should do it or not. Uh, and there are those who believe that uh, uh, you know a good whack across the behind is the way to go, and there are others who believe you never ever touch a child, and uh, you find other ways to punish. Uh, I I don't know the answer. I'm not an expert. My wife and I, I think we're good parents. We raised two good sons. I think we probably yelled more than we spanked. <laughs> you know, we used the, you ever use the three, two, one, you know, they did something wrong and you go, three, two, one. Theoretically, at the end of that, if they didn't respond properly, there would be some kind of punishment. Our sons were smart enough to know that they never let it get to one. <laughs> so we didn't have to worry about it. But uh, there are, you know, there's, listen, there's, been books written about raising youngsters and and the theories are you know numerous on how to properly raise children but i would say today as a general thesis there are far more youngsters out there who disrespect authority than there ever were that's worrisome i don't know why that is I don't know what's changed, but I do know there are far more disrespectful youngsters than there used to be. Anyway, uh, that or anything else on your mind, give us a call this morning. We've got some things to bring up, too, and we will do that. Let me talk to you about my sponsor this morning, Linda Shepard at Pinnacle Realty in Saginaw. And, you know, sellers are getting top dollar for their homes with the average of one day on the market. And Linda sells faster. Buyers are cash or pre-approved doesn't waste any time. 
Easy to work with, no pressure tactics, several years of experience. Lynn is a full-time agent. She lives here. She sells here. Her agency, Pinnacle Realty, is not a franchise, so the money stays here in your community. And also, not only is Pinnacle Realty a great real estate agent, but they own the point at M47 and M46 on Gratiot. And inside the point is the new Cafe 476, a coffee stop with espresso, coffee, tea bubbles, lemonade, smoothies, frozen yogurt, baked goods, locally baked, uh, great food items. Stop in and visit them today at the point, Cafe 476. And for all of your residential and commercial real estate needs, give Linda Shepard a call at 989-295-7713. Linda Shepard, Pinnacle Realty and The Point. We will take a break and be back with more on The Art Lewis Show. I choose the Roundup Ready Extend crop system because I know they've got my back. Their spray early weed control guarantee helps me get the most out of early season applications. If I experience less than commercially acceptable performance, I'm eligible for up to $15 per acre on additional applications. That's a system I can depend on. The Roundup Ready Extend Crop System. See program details at Spray or The guarantee is subject to program restrictions. Always follow pesticide label directions. They say if you listen hard enough, you can hear the corn grow. It's true. When you're out in the field, you understand its challenges and what it needs to thrive. Channel Seedsmen bring insights from the field to our team of bear plant breeders. Their knowledge inspires our product development. From your best ground to your most challenging conditions, our products are designed to perform in your fields. Visit ChannelListens.com to see our latest innovations. Always read and follow IRM where applicable. Grain marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. If you've got a small business, you know there's nothing more valuable than your time. So why waste it at the post office? Stamps.com makes it right from your computer. No special equipment required. Whether you're in office sending invoices, a side hustle Etsy shop, or a full-blown warehouse shipping out orders, Stamps.com will make your life easier. You'll even get exclusive discounts on postage and shipping from USPS and UPS. And their new rate advisor tool lets you compare shipping rates across carriers so you always find the best option. Save time and money with Stamps.com. There's no risk, and when you go to Stamps.com and use offer code FOCUS, you'll receive a four-week free trial plus free postage and a digital scale. Or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com. Click on the microphone at the top and enter code FOCUS. That's Stamps.com, promo code FOCUS. Stamps.com. Never go to the post office again. I am one of thousands of women with metastatic breast cancer, or MBC, which is breast cancer that has spread to other parts of the body. I am living in the moment and taking Ibrant's Calpocyclib. Ibrant's 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for postmenopausal women or for men with HR positive, HER2 negative MBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Be in your moment. Ask your doctor about Ibrant's and visit Ibrant's.com. Eyebrands may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infection. Inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking eyebrands, tell Tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Presented for the people by Caesar Sportsbook. Download and get started with a risk-free bet of up to $5,000 and earn reward credits for sports tickets, dining, getaways, and more with every bet. Win or lose. Your app is ready, Emperor. TNC apply must be 21 plus. Scope swings, lines him down the left field line, hooking at the foul pole. Gone! Jonathan Scope's sizzling line drive home run is 22nd of the year. The Tigers play 750 tonight on 790 News Radio WSGW. Direct from the Stone Specialist Studios, this is 100.5 and 790 News Radio WSGW. And it's the Art Lewis Show. We thank you for joining us today. You heard the little promo there for the Tigers. Tonight, they start their final season series with Chicago. Three games left in their season. Of course, the postseason starts. 
But uh, I was, and I still am, pretty hopeful that the Tigers are going to have next year a very competitive ball club uh, with some of the players in the minors ready to come up. Some of the potential acquisitions that are out there, and I think they're going to be buyers. I think they're going to be looking for certain things, shortstop and and the like. Uh, There are all kinds of potentials. And then there's even a rumor that it is possible Justin Verlander on the free agent market could end up in a Tigers uniform. Now, is it the Justin Verlander we've all come to know and love? Well, he had Tommy John surgery. He's certainly older, but he's still a quality pitcher and certainly could impart a lot of knowledge onto the youngsters in the bullpen and in the starting rotation. I think it would be very interesting, and it certainly would put fans in the seats. No two ways about that. As a business decision, it would probably be a good one. But I think the Tigers are going to be a force to deal with next year. I think they have all the potential. Uh, I think they made some good moves this year in uh, giving Jonathan scope a two-year contract. Uh, I think that was a smart move rather than just let him go. When everybody was saying, oh, no, he's gone, he's going to be traded, they'll put him in the marketplace. Instead, they signed him. He's good for the team because he's a leader. He's a clubhouse leader. He's a good hitter, obviously. Good player. So I think they're making some good moves. I think the Tigers in uh, 2022 are going to be a team to contend with. Are they a playoff team? I would say they have a chance. But I think that would be more likely maybe in 2023 because things have to gel. Some of the people coming up are very young. They're going to have to uh, feel their way and get their feet planted squarely. But I think they're going to be a good team. I look forward to... uh, I look forward to next season. Yesterday, at least what seems like yesterday, I was saying, gee, I can't wait for this season. And then somewhere along the line, I blinked. That happens every year, though. Every year, by the end of March, I'm saying, all right, the weather's going to warm up, outdoor activities, the birds are going to be singing, and baseball is back with us. And I say to myself, wow, great. It's the beginning. It's a 162-game season. This is going to be fun. And it's going to take a while. And then all of a sudden, there's three games left. (laughs) What do you do? It is amazing. Uh, And it seems the older you get, the faster it goes. Now, I know that there are still 60 seconds in a minute. There are still 60 minutes in an hour. There's still 24 hours in a day. There's still seven days in a week. I understand all that. Yet somehow, it seems faster. That I don't understand. you got to figure a way to slow it down. And, you know, in reality particularly in continuing to work at my age, you know, at 78 years old, I'm busy. And when you are constantly busy and doing things, time does tend to seem to go faster because you're occupied. You're you're not just sitting around watching the clock. You know, you're busy. And I like to be that way. So, you know, I can understand to a degree why when I, think the season's going to be long before I know it, it's over. We went to Maine in uh, August. I looked forward to that trip for months. We planned it quite a long time ago. And then before I knew it, it was here. And before I knew it, it was over. 
The wait was the longest part. <laughs> the execution was immediate and done. Oh, well. So you move on. You start planning the next, uh, the next excitement in your life, you know. That's what fun is all about. Anyhow, let's, uh, let's take a pause. And then we'll be back with more. It's the Art Lewis Show. And lines are open for your calls. You can tell it's fall, huh? Yeah, cooler days. And leaves changing colors. Kitchens becoming beautiful. Yeah, kitchens become... Wait, what was that? Well, fall's the perfect time to upgrade our kitchen. What makes you say that? Our kitchen and the Wilsons. Theirs is pretty spectacular. Who'd they hire again? Premier Kitchen and Bath Gallery. Let Premier Kitchen and Bath Gallery Showroom and Design Center help you create the perfect space for your home. From imagination to completion. Go to PremierKitchenAndBathGallery.com to get started. Premier Kitchen and Bath Gallery Showroom. Get inspired years of your life in retirement you'll finally get to do what you want to do but you have to plan for it start by tuning into mindy and nolan mcintosh of mcintosh and associates every sunday at noon for wealth michigan with the mcintoshes make retirement the best time of your life tune in sundays at noon for wealth michigan with the mcintoshes firm offers insurance services investment advisory services offered only by duly registered individuals through aa wealth management llc oh according to Reese. Now people will remember radio ads. So 82% of you listening will remember that this is an ad for ZipRecruiter. 82% of you will note that if you're hiring, ZipRecruiter finds qualified people for your job. In fact, four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. And 82% of you will remember that you can try ZipRecruiter for free, but you have to go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Yes, free. Again, that's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With confusion around vaccinations, masks, and public screenings, it's important to know the symptoms of COVID and its variants. Fever is the leading sign, so make sure you use an accurate thermometer for your family. Only the extra thermometer has been proven accurate with more than 100 clinical studies. Non-contact thermometers have no clinical evidence behind them and cannot be relied on. Be vigilant and be accurate with Exergen. Learn more at exergen.com. The WSGW Morning Team Show. WSW online poll, potential presidential assassin, and freedom. So a judge has ruled John Hinckley Jr., a man who attempted to assassinate President Reagan and wounded three others. <laughs> Originally found not guilty by reason of insanity, will be released unconditionally in June 2022, provided he continues to show mental stability. At this time, he's living under medical care or just... His computer passwords are tracked. He can't have a gun. Not allowed to contact any family members of the victims. The poll question, do you think that John Hinckley Jr., the man who attempted to assassinate President Reagan and did shoot three others, should he be unconditionally released from prison provided he displays mental stability? Yes, no, I'm not sure. Make your votes at WSW.com. Scroll down the whole page, find the poll box, and vote that way. The Morning Team Show, weekdays 5.30 to 9 on 100.5 and 790 New GW. All right, we're back with you on the Art Lewis Show, and uh, I must make room for my colleague, Pat Johnston, who is chomping at the bit. <laughs> Pat, good morning. Hey, uh, good morning, sir. How's it going here? Good. All right, let me turn down the music. There, there you go. go. Okay, hey, yeah, I got it all right now. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to, um, you brought up something about the respecting authority. And the, yeah, you know, I, I like that. It's like a, like, a, like a college seminar class because I thought, okay, people not respecting authority now nowadays. I remember when I was young, when I was young, which, you know, was, was for me, art, look, I know it's all relative, but. <laughs> I'm 45, so that seems like a long time ago. Right? Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> but I remember my grandparents saying, you kids, no respect for authority. You know, we Gen Xers. And now, you know, I, I, yep. I'm hearing people yep. say that about, you know, about the oh, yeah. younger generation now. And I, I guess maybe that's just, that's just in some way. I'm watching this great documentary and um, I, cause I love sports, but I also love uh, politics and social commentary and all that. Uh, Ken Burns uh, did a documentary, a four part documentary uh, on, on Muhammad Ali. Oh, I heard about that. Is it any good? Oh, well done. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You, uh, Ken Burns. I would expect that. Very well done. And you know, doesn't pull punches. We, we talk about the good and the bad and uh, the gray when it comes. Yeah. To everything. But um, you know, I was thinking, 
I remember, you know, he, he talked about, of course, they highlighted the whole fight that he had about not wanting to go to Vietnam. Right. And all that. And how he had a big negative perception on him in the 60s. And then, you know, when the title was pulled from him and he didn't fight for a couple of years, um, then all of a sudden support for the Vietnam. And it went down. And when he came back in the 1970s, he was almost that's when it started. He <laughs> it was his, godlike. His image, his image, yeah. his, his image turned. So, Absolutely. Uh, and that's what I was going to say. Maybe there was one instance in which uh, standing up uh, for what you believe in and maybe going up against authority. Well, that's different, though. I mean, that, that's let, let's separate these things out. Um, there's. Regulated authority. Which there needs to be so you don't have chaos. Yeah, right. And then there's protest authority where you protest something you see as an injustice i don't put that in the same boat what ali did in my view was not uh against authority it was a protest of a policy the government set forth and for that i do not fault him uh, but youngsters who fly in the face of authority, and you know what I mean by that, law enforcement parents, and they're rude, they're obnoxious, they're <laughs> vile. It, that's a different thing. Right. It, it's two different things. No, I, well, no okay, you know, I'll, I'll, I will grant you that. I mean, I, I at the same time, I think. Well, I mean, yeah, I, you, oh boy, we could talk about this for a long time. <laughs> oh, we have, uh, let's see, we have, uh, I don't know what, uh, seven or eight more minutes. No, not quite, but go ahead. But no, I would say, um, all right, when it comes to law enforcement, maybe some would argue that's a two way street sometimes. Uh, not for, it doesn't go for everybody. It doesn't go for every police officer. It doesn't go for every, uh, every person out there, too, who may be um, joining in protest uh, against. Certain police brutalities, for instance. Well, that's different, though. You 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 have a cause. Right, right. That's right. that's a separate thing. Again, that's a, that's in the Ali camp. But is there like what happened on January sixth? Is there a disrespect of authority? There was that a breakdown of a absolutely of authority. I mean, yeah, that's why I'm just oh, absolutely. Just, just wondering. I'm just because, no. I, that wasn't a protest. That was a riot. And. I, yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe where I where I go back hard is that I, I I hear you on that, but I just I do think it is <laughs> generational. Remember when I was a kid and my grandparents and in fact my grandparents they wouldn't want my dad to hear it or my mom, but they would complain that they didn't really respect authority. <laughs> <either>. <laughs> <laughs> that my, that the, now I know where you came from. Now I know your problem. <laughs> <laughs> that their kids didn't respect. Well, let me. You know, I don't know. I guess let me go back. Generational. Let me go back. You know, I'm I'm a product of an age before you. Obviously, I grew up as a teenager in the 50s, 60s in New York, and yeah, my parents always taught me. Uh, some very basic, basic uh, lessons about respecting authority, respecting your elders. Remember how many times you ever hear that growing oh, up? Yes, absolutely. Uh, you know, and, and these were lessons that were uh, drilled into me. Uh, and, and I don't mean every day they didn't sit me down and say, do this, do this, do this. Mm -hmm. But it was understood. And, and my dad, and my dad was a... Uh, a compassionate authoritarian. Hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. It does. It does. Yeah. I mean, first of all, he was a federal agent. He was a special agent in the government. He expected you to do what he said to do when he said to do it. <laughs> you know, <Right>. that's <laughs> right. <laughs> and he carried a gun, but that's beside the point. Uh, but uh, but the reality was, he had a way of of getting his points across without being contrary about it, without mm. being dictatorial about it. Mm -hmm. He was convincing just by his, by his style, by the way he said things. Right. Uh, and he was, you know, he was the last guy in the world you would pick out of a crowd as a federal agent. He was, he was small, like I small in stature, like I am uh, thin, uh, and uh, mild mannered, but you didn't want to mess with him. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. No, that's the kind of guy he was. You know. And, and you know what? The, what you're describing that 
he earned you know your respect. Oh, absolutely. Well, yeah, yeah you could say that. He yeah. he did earn it, but he also demanded it. Right, but he also at the same time granted you respect. We did, and you know, and one of the other lessons he taught me about respect, you know, uh, he always taught me that respect cannot be demanded, even mm -hmm. though you know, in a way, he did. But Agreed. he said respect is earned; it's never demanded. People that demand respect are afraid they can't earn it. Yeah, you know what? And I uh, that that was that's a great that is a great line. That is. Yeah, when you yeah, think man. about it, it's true. You and know, it is, and that's why I say I think those in authority. I think I think you're right. I mean, I was taught respect your elders and all that. But however, I was taught if you believe your elders are are in gross error, call them out on it. Well, all right, but that. now here's the thing: I was taught that too, but it's how you call them out on it. Oh, now there's another discussion. We nah, yes. Unfortunately, the clock says we no, can't. You know what? I, I, I just, real quick, real quick. Real yeah. Just say, I agree with you. And this, my final point is I think uh, those in authority have to show respect and those who are following authority two-way street. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the, the best way to show authority is to earn the respect of those you are trying to control. Okay, right. No two ways about it. All right. Thank you, Art. All right. Take care. Thanks for joining us, Pat. <laughs> My pleasure. That was Pat on the live mic instead of the phone call. And it's always fun talking to Pat because, you know, here's an example, folks. Politically, we come from different parts of the world. But we can have a civil discussion and find many a point that we agree on. And in some ways, that's what's missing in society and in politics today. We need to find that again. We'll take our last break, and then we will be back to finish up the program. This season, there's a new choice for your fields. Zatabo soybean seed, designed with triple-stacked Enlist E3 technology for weed control flexibility. Supported by a dedicated team of BASF agronomic experts. Protected by the versatile BASF soybean crop protection portfolio. Zatabo soybean seed, stacked in your favor. Zatabo from MS Technologies, distributed exclusively by BASF. Always read and follow label directions. Dot com. This week's deal on RocketGrabPlus.com is for the Vino Wine Warehouse. You're going to get a $30 gift certificate for the Vino Wine Warehouse Fall Festival for only $15. That's half off. The Vino Wine Warehouse features over a thousand retail wine items, 16 draft craft beers, and a full liquor section with a unique modern menu. Head to RocketGrabPlus.com right now to snag your deal. RocketGrabPlus.com Oh, according to research, 82% of people remember radio ads. That means that 82% of you listening right now will remember that this is an ad for ZipRecruiter. If you're hiring. The ZipRecruiter makes hiring faster and easier. And 82% of you will note that you can try ZipRecruiter for free today. But you have to go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Yes, free. 82% of you will keep in mind that ZipRecruiter's technology finds qualified people for your job and actively invites them to apply. God, is that you? Who are you talking to? 82% <sighs> of you will also know that I um, live with my mom. But the most important thing to note is that ZipRecruiter works. In fact, four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. Will you be part of the 82% who remember where you can try ZipRecruiter for free? Slash free. Again, that exclusive link is ZipRecruiter.com slash free. How much? Free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. The pandemics reminded us we live in a sea of airborne germs that can assault us with every breath. Your nose is the body's first line of defense by helping filter out allergens, bacteria, and viruses before they reach your lungs. So how do you clean your nose? Navage uses powered suction to flush out mucus and germs that cause congestion, or worse, can make you sick. Over 2 million people use Navage to breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and feel healthier without drugs. Go to Navage.com or find Navage at Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, Bed Bath, and Target. And that'll do it for this edition of the Art Lewis Show. Thanks for joining us tomorrow morning. Ernie Krieger joins us to help you with your appliance repair questions. After the news coming up, we'll focus on the Saginaw Children's Zoo and Zubu with Nancy Parker. All that ahead after the news.
From the Stone Specialist Studios, this is WSGW, Saginaw, Bay City, Midland, WSGW-FM, Carlton. This is CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by Facet Wealth. I'm Steve Kaffin. Imagine... COVID-19, the drug maker Merck reports good results on trials of a treatment in pill form, but the company says cut hospitalizations and deaths by half in people who've been infected. CBS's Dr. David Agus. All of the treatments now, whether it be monoclonal antibodies or remdesivir, the Gilead drug, are intravenous or have to be a shot in the arm, and those have to be given in the hospital. And so this is certainly an advance um, and will help save many lives. As we hear from CBS's Kami McCormick, Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh has COVID-19. The Supreme Court says Kavanaugh has no symptoms. He tested positive just days before the court is scheduled to open its new term. Arguments for the first time since the pandemic began. He is fully vaccinated, as are the eight other justices. The House Speaker promises a vote on the $1 trillion infrastructure bill today. CBS's Chris Van Cleve says it comes amid talks on President Biden's wider and more costly agenda. Speaker Pelosi, when she left the Capitol very early this morning, called Thursday a day of progress, saying moderates and progressives are not trillions of dollars apart, but that path forward and when there may be a vote, that is anybody's guess. New rules and rollbacks enforced today from the U.S. Postal Service. CBS's Errol Barnett says it could make things tougher for postal. 40% of first class mail could take up to five days to arrive instead of up to three days. And sending holiday cheer will be pricier as well, with postage rates increasing up to $5 more per package until December 26. The correspondent Nancy Chen is at Fort McCoy, Wisconsin, one of the military bases that's housing Afghans who fled their country during the U.S. evacuation. There is gratitude and hope for families starting a new life and getting their chance at achieving the American dream. It was so hard to leave our home. 19-year-old Sultana Amani arrived in the U.S. in late August with her family after fleeing Afghanistan. Rule. He never would have wanted to leave otherwise. I was happy there, but when the tall one came, we were in danger. Surrounded by miles of farmland and cornfields, this is where the Amani family is starting their life in the U.S. In Las Vegas today, we gather today to remember the enormity of the loss that we experienced four years ago this day. A service to remember the 58 people killed in the concert mass shooting in 2017. Checking Wall Street right now, the Dow is up 23 points. The NASDAQ is down 47. This is CBS News. Well, personalized and affordable financial planning for everyday Americans. No wealth or asset minimums. Quality financial advice for every stage of your life. Did you get all the stimulus money for you and your family? Do you have children and didn't know you could receive monthly child tax credit payments? You can claim your monthly child tax credit payments and missing stimulus payments, even if you don't file a traditional tax return. Visit ssa.gov slash EIP to learn how you can apply online. Get the money your family deserves. Visit ssa.gov slash EIP. Produced at U.S. Tax. Have you recently tested positive for COVID-19? You may be eligible for monoclonal antibody therapy, a treatment which could reduce your risk of hospitalization and death. If you are in a high-risk group and have had symptoms for less than 10 days, talk to your health care provider about this no-cost treatment. To learn more about COVID-19 antibody therapy, go to michigan.gov slash COVID therapy. Sponsored by the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services and the Michigan Association of Broadcasters. RocketGrabPlus.com. The days of paying full price are over. And at RocketGrabPlus.com, we are here always giving you the deals that Tons of half-off deals going on right now from Fat Matt's Barbecue, Uplift Creative Center, Joyce's Purple Palettes, Woody's Hot Dogs, King's Fish and More, and the Hamptons Boutique Tanning and Salon. Half off? Yeah, it's true. And it's all at RocketGrabPlus.com. RocketGrabPlus.com. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of my pillow. Here to tell you about my Giza Dream bed sheets. The long staple cotton makes my Giza Dream sheets ultra soft and durable. They come with my 60 day money back guarantee and a 10. You can get the best sheets ever for the best price ever. When you buy one, 
sets, you'll get another one absolutely free. Go to MyPillow.com and click on the radio listener square and use promo code SKY, S-K-Y, for this amazing special. Live from the 100.5 and 790 Newsroom, this is WSGW News. Sunny skies and 63 degrees at 11.05. Good morning, I'm Mike Percha. Who is in Saginaw and Buena Vista Township are investigating an apparent murder-suicide. Police responded to the 300 block of North 21st Street in Saginaw around 6.40. After a, a resident found his friend, 48-year-old Luanda Drake, dead from gunshot wounds. Drake was a resident of Buena Vista Township. The investigation follows what police are calling a suicide of Drake's son, Buena Vista police responded to a home in the area of Wadsworth and Outer Drive Thursday just before 8 p.m. The location is a short distance from where Drake's body was found. The preliminary investigation suggests the son was the assailant in Drake's murder. Saginaw and Buena Vista police are collaborating in the investigation. No further details are available. Two people have died after a single vehicle crash in Tuscola County. Police say a 2009 Ford Fusion occupied by on Bray Road in Arbella Township around 1220 this morning. The driver, a 21-year-old Mount Morris man, ran off the road and hit a ditch near Birch Run Road, causing the vehicle to roll and strike a tree. The vehicle, excuse me, the driver and a 23-year-old Traverse City man died at the scene. A 22-year-old woman and a 20-year-old man, both from Clio, were taken to a local hospital with life-threatening injuries. Their conditions are unknown at this time. Police say alcohol and speed may be factors in the crash, which remains under investigation. In a week's time, a Saginaw Township landmark will be up for foreclosure auction. Fashion Square Mall has been operating continuously for the past malls across the country close or struggle to remain open. Fashion Square Mall faces the same problems. Last year, owner of the mall, Namdar Reality Group, defaulted on nearly $35 million in mortgage debt owed to Wells Fargo. While Namdar Realty Group still owns the mall, it has gone into receivership. The auction takes place next Friday at 10 a.m. at the Saginaw County Government Building at 111 South Michigan Avenue. Township officials and real estate leaders both retain optimism. The mall re- will remain a viable part of the community for years to come. WSGW News Time 1107. This is C Marketplace located at 203 South Washington. Fall is officially here and with chilly weather upon us, warm up inside with some of your American favorites, global flavors, sweet treats, and retail small businesses. Our farmers under our pavilion offer fresh goodies, pumpkins galore. Our all-year-round indoor market still remains Saginaw's favorites. What's that you say? New businesses are coming. We welcome Cobb King and Bling and Jewels Boutique. Warm up inside the SVRC Marketplace. Open Wednesday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. SVRC Cornhole Fundraiser Tournament on October 9th with a $500 first prize winner. And come for some free family fun to our annual Halloween event on October 29th. Check us out on our Facebook page for all upcoming events. We thank you for the continued support of our small businesses. Remember to shop local, eat local, support small business, and we'll see you at the market. WSGW News Time 1108. The weather forecast is coming up next. Lawmaker. Testimony from survivors of Dr. Robert Anderson and Larry Nasser as they debate legislation that would allow survivors more time to pursue legal action against universities. Here's John Hewitt with this report. It was more emotional testimony before members of the House Oversight Committee, which is considering legislation that, if passed, would waive the statute of limitations and allow the survivors of Dr. Robert Anderson a one-year window to take legal action. It would also limit the university's ability to claim immunity. Among U of M running back John Vaughn, who says he too was a victim of the late sports doctor. This will go down as the largest sexual abuse, rape, and cover up in the history of sports. And I think we have a time right now we can stop this. Also among those to testify was one of the legislation co sponsors, Democratic Representative Karen Whitsett of Detroit, who shared her own story of sexual abuse at the hands of a doctor. I waited to hear the snap of the glove. And also wonder why it was taking him so long to realize there was no glove. This was not a standard test. 
Michigan community have decided not to pursue criminal charges against people who vandalized the statue of a Confederate and Union Civil War soldier with a black child kneeling between them. The Allendale Township Board Thursday said proceeding with the case would require time and resources and only create more divisiveness. The board voted in June to keep the statue in a local park, despite a recommendation from a group that the statue be replaced by one with Union soldiers who are black, Native American, and white. Calls for the statue to come down began last year, following the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis and anti-police brutality protests around the country. WSGW News Time 1110. I'm Mike Percha. Our WSGW weatherology forecast. Mostly sunny skies here for today with a high into the mid-70s. Winds out of the southwest around 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for tonight, partly cloudy sky conditions, a low near 54. By Saturday, sunshine high 78 degrees. Then by Sunday, a chance for showers and thunderstorms. Cloudy skies with a high around 72. Monday, we'll have a chance for some rain showers here. Cloudy high around 71. Then by Tuesday, partial sunshine develops a high of 68. Wednesday, partly sunny sky conditions, a high around 70 degrees. Meteorologist Jennifer Vujitsky with the WSGW Weatherology Forecast. Currently, it's 61. It's time to focus as WSGW presents the people, the places, the businesses, the culture, the area events and activities, all put into focus on 100.5 and 790 News Radio WSGW and online WSGW.com. Welcome, welcome to another edition of Focus, sponsored by RoofMax, the safe, proven, and affordable alternative to expensive asphalt shingle roof replacement. Find about roof, find out more about RoofMax online at RoofMax.com or call Ben, 859-6751. That's RoofMax with two X's. We uh, are at that time of year when we approach Halloween. And one of the gems of this area, the Saginaw Children's Zoo, celebrates it. And they're going to do that on uh, five different dates this year. We're going to talk about it and find out more about the zoo right now with its director. We say good morning to Nancy Parker. Nancy, good morning to you. Good morning. Good to hear from you. So the zoo, let's start before we get to Zoo Boo uh, coming up this month. Uh, how is attendance this year at the zoo? Well, we are, I'm calling this a transitional year. Um, you know, we open to the public like we typically do. We're able to open in April, and we've been continuously open since. So that's the good news. We've had our train and carousel going this year, so we're excited about that. And we have not been able to put back in all of our events you know we do a lot of pretty major events during our season so those because of the, we just uh don't didn't put those on our calendar but Other than those yeah. major events were really pretty well recovered and our attendance isn't back up to we're comparing ourselves to 2019 um in terms of Regular traffic, we're there, but, you know, without our events, we're not capping over that. But the one event you have put on, which is coming up, is Zubu. So yeah. uh, so tell us a little bit about Zubu, because I see there are five different dates for it this year. Yes, Zubu is absolutely a favorite the community. Um, in fact, even at the... At late last year, we did Zubu, and we did it in a limited way, and we could see the community was just so grateful um, that we were able to do it, and they could come here and be safe and, and have a great family experience. So we're doing it. Um, we started, actually, on October the 9th, which is Saturday, and we go Saturday and Sunday, and then for the next two weekends. So it's the 9th and the 10th, and then the 16th and 17th, and the 23rd and 24th of October, and that Saturday. Oh, and the 24th, too. Yeah. Oh, well, you better go on your website and correct that, because it doesn't show the 24th. I <laughs> just okay. thought I'd tell you that. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. You know, we're we're always uh, you know looking for improvement, so that's one of them. Right, right away. Uh, but you know, one of the favorites is Dr. Slime, and so Dr. Slime is here, and uh, then the zoo is decorated. You know, we have so many volunteer gardens in the zoo, and all of our gardener to us and. They have been decorating the gardens. The zoo then adds additional decorations, and so we do it in a we do zoo in a merry, not scary way. Oh. We've got other games and activities <laughs> for the kids, and animal presentations, and even our animals share in this. Of our animals get special Halloween uh, enrichment. So the whole zoo just kind of takes on a fun, uh, festive Halloween flair. And cost? Uh, we are selling um, advanced tickets are $6. So people buy them in this next week because that, that pricing goes through Friday, October the 8th. So the day that Zubu starts, then the pricing goes up to $8. So within this next week, it's the best time to get your tickets, and you can get them online at www.saginawzoo.com, or you can buy them at the zoo. And we will remind everybody about that again before we're done. I've got to take a break. We're talking to Nancy Parker, the director of the Saginaw Children's Zoo, and we will be back with more after these notes. While you're comfortable inside your home or business, the weather takes a Wind, rain, hail, UV rays, and the heat of the sun cause premature failure of your shingles. Everyone loves to save money. If you have an aging roof, don't spend a lot of money on replacement. Get a RoofMax shingle treatment and get some peace of mind. Get more life for less money. Guaranteed with RoofMax, a powerful fusion of science and nature. Call Ben today at 859-51. Did you get all the stimulus money for you and your family? Do you have children and didn't know you could receive monthly child tax credit payments? You can claim your monthly child tax credit payments and missing stimulus payments, even if you don't file a traditional tax return. Visit ssa.gov EIP to learn how you can apply online. Get the money your family deserves. Visit ssa.gov EIP. Produced at U.S. taxpayer expense. With confusion masks and public screenings it's important to know the symptoms of covid and its variants fever is the leading sign so make sure you use an accurate thermometer for your family only the exergen temporal scanner thermometer has been proven accurate with more than 100 clinical studies non-contact thermometers have no clinical evidence behind them and cannot be relied on be vigilant and be accurate with exergen learn more at exergen.com RocketGrabPlus.com. The days of paying full price are over. And at RocketGrabPlus.com, we are here always giving you the deals that you need. You can get tons of half-off deals going on right now from Fat Matt's Barbecue, Uplift Creative Center, Joyce's Purple Palette, Woody's Hot Dogs, King's Fish and More, and the Hamptons Boutique Tanning Inc. Off? Yeah, it's true. And it's all at RocketGrabPlus.com. RocketGrabPlus.com. Struggling with CPAP? Now there's Inspire, the only FDA-approved obstructive sleep apnea treatment that works inside the body to treat the root cause of sleep apnea with just the click of a button. No mask, no hose, just sleep. Visit Inspire and more. They give it to Haskins. Haskins rolls over left guard. Touchdown, Michigan! It's a Big Ten road test as the Michigan Wolverines visit the Wisconsin Badgers Saturday morning at 11 a.m. on 790 News Radio WSGW. <laughs> on air and online from the Stone Specialist Studios. 0.5 and 790 News Radio WSGW. Chatting with Nancy Parker, director of the Saginaw Children's Zoo. And Nancy, uh, just to uh, correct one thing, uh, in going to the events tab on your website, the 24th is listed. It's where you scroll down on the home page under the events box that the 24th is not listed. So, okay. so you're mostly right. <laughs> okay. 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 Well, that's good. One place and not another. Yep. Um, one 
Yeah, and one thing I should mention as well is that um, a lot of members in the community that are Zoom members, and so the member Zoom members are free to come into Zubu, and so that they don't have to buy a ticket. If you are a Zoom member, um, come on down. We'd love to see you. So let's talk about that for a minute. What are the categories of membership to be a Zoom member? Well, we have memberships um, that uh, are for individuals, or we have memberships for families, uh, for grandparents, and so we have a number of different types of memberships. But all memberships include uh, admission to the zoo for the entire season, where they start the month you buy and it goes for a year. So. Say if you bought a membership today, it would go through next um, first part of October, and the um, and it includes admission to the zoo, and then also rides. It includes uh, carousel and train rides, and that's what a lot of members really love because those kids want to get off the train and get right back on the train. So they want <laughs> yeah. to sit on the carousel three times, you know. So, it's not um, just the kids. I want to sit in the driver's seat. It's not just the kids. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. The, and so, and you know, I think sometimes um, some of the children they uh, go to the zoo for the train or the carousel rather than the animals. So <laughs> um, the rides are a really big hit here. How about the animals? How are we doing with animals these days? Anything new, or where are we? Well. Yeah, we have really, uh, during COVID, we had a lot of challenges because, you know, much like supplies weren't shipping out, we also could not transport animals across state lines. Oh, really? And all that. So, yeah, we had uh, really a time period there where we had, because um, we participate in a breeding program for our penguins, we had a penguin that was supposed to come in there wasn't any way we could get that penguin here That's, to the zoo. So, is it, why is that? I mean, I mean, are animals are, are animals susceptible to COVID? Um, some animals are. Uh, oh, um, no kidding. Yeah. Yeah, some animals are. And in fact, we have a group of animals here that are being vaccinated for COVID. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, our, who would have thought of that? I, You know, it's... Wow. Yeah, and we have not had any incidents of COVID with our animals, but some other zoos have had some incidents of COVID with their animals. Hmm. There is a manufacturer who uh, produced a vaccine for animals, and we were one of the zoos that said, yes, we will vaccinate our animals. And they uh, their shots go the same way people, they get one shot and they got this within the last 10 days and then three weeks later they'll get a second shot no kidding wow things you never think of absolutely yeah. never yeah. think of uh, is the zoo still open on a daily basis now or is the season ended well we are still open daily um and we are in our last week of being open daily when and, we start for Zubu, we do Zubu on the weekends, we close during the week, and then open up again on the weekend for Zubu. And, you know, explain to everyone the fact that while the zoo may be closed to the public, the animals have to be taken care of all season. So you have staff all year round. Yes, yes. One of the questions I often get still is, where do the animals go in the winter? Well, all of the animals stay here in the winter, and those that are not climatized to Michigan weather all have buildings that are heated that they go in and they spend the winter in those. When the springtime comes again, they come back out into their outdoor habitat. All right, so let's remind everybody again when Zubu is. Okay. Zubu starts on Saturday, October 9th, and it will be that Saturday and Sunday, uh, the 9th and the 10th, the following weekend, um, the 16th and the 17th, and then the weekend after that. So it's three weekends in a row, and the last weekend is the 23rd and 24th, and that's Saturday and Sunday. 
And up until the eighth, uh, until Zubu starts on the ninth, tickets are how much? The tickets, the pre-sale tickets. So get your tickets um, by Friday, October eighth, because they're six dollars. And then uh, on the ninth of October, on Saturday, when Zubu starts, they go to eight dollars. And once again, if you're a Zoo member, you get in free. So. Um, and you also, in this next week, could come buy a Zoo membership and then get that Zubu. You don't have to buy Zubu tickets. And then you'll have a membership for all next season at the Zoo. All right. Very good, Nancy. Well, listen, always great to talk to you. And uh, we look forward to not only Zubu, but the next season of the Saginaw Children's Zoo. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Art. We'll talk to you again. Bye-bye now. Okay. Bye-bye. Nancy Parker, the director of the Saginaw Children's Zoo, we thank her for being with us, and we thank you for joining us on Focus, brought to you by RoofMax, the safe, proven, and affordable alternative to expensive asphalt shingle roof replacement. Find out about RoofMax online at RoofMax.com or call Ben at 859-6751. That's RoofMax, R-O-O-F-M-A-X-X, RoofMax. We'll be back to close out and uh, move on to the market report after these notes. I am one of thousands of women with metastatic breast cancer or MBC, which is breast cancer that has spread to other parts of the body. I am living in the moment and taking Ibrantz, Calcocyclib. Ibrantz 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for postmenopausal women or for men with HR positive HER2 negative MBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Be in your moment. Ask your doctor about Ibrantz and visit Ibrantz.com. Ibrands may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrands may cause both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrands, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of my pillow. Here to tell you about my Giza Dream bed sheets. The long staple cotton makes my Giza Dream sheets ultra soft and durable. They come with my 60 day money back guarantee and a 10 year warranty. The best sheets ever for the best price ever. When you buy one of my Giza Dream bed sheet sets, you'll get another one absolutely free. Go to MyPillow.com and click on the radio listener square and use promo code SKY, S-K-Y, for this amazing special. If you've got a small business, you know there's nothing more valuable than your time. So why waste it at the post office? Stamps.com makes it easy to mail and ship right from your computer. No special equipment required. Whether you're in office sending invoices, a side hustle Etsy shop, or a full-blown warehouse shipping out orders, Stamps.com will make your life easier. You'll even get exclusive discounts on postage and shipping from U.S. And their new rate advisor tool lets you compare shipping rates across carriers so you always find the best option. Save time and money with Stamps.com. There's no risk, and when you go to Stamps.com and use offer code FOCUS, you'll receive a four-week free trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com. Click on the microphone at the top and enter code FOCUS. That's Stamps.com, promo code FOCUS. Stamps.com. Never go to the post office again. We're proud to make Pioneer Sugar for you and your family. Proud to be found in your kitchen the heart of your home and it you make with pioneer sugar whether it's with our granulated white light brown or soft confectioners it's the memories you'll make using it that will matter the most pioneer sugar pure and all natural made from sugar beets grown right here what could be sweeter than that on the next Markley Van Camp and Robin show, it's the Friday Five, and the magic number is three. Join us for Radio Thruple. Why'd you have to make it weird? Markley Van Camp and Robbins, weekdays at noon on 100.5 and 790. News Radio WSGW. And thank you for joining us on Focus. We thank Nancy Parker from the Children's Zoo for being with us today. Time to head over to Baird and Company for our ticker tip of the day. And that's where we find Steve Anderson on this Friday. And Steve, how are we ending the week? Well, 
here. We are ending it with a Friday. We ended uh, last month, certainly, on a sour note. And uh, today, since we get to start all over again, we're starting all over better. Dow Jones Industrial Average up 183 points, putting it at 34.023, volume 319 million shares. The uh, NASDAQ at 14,450, volume there is 382 million shares. And uh, sure there's a lot more green on the locals today. So. Ah, good deal. Ticker tip for the day. Well, the ticker tip for the day, as we go zooming into the fourth quarter here, it is time to start uh, taking a look at what need we do to prepare for year end and 2022. Uh, we've had kind of an odd year here to, to deal with. So perhaps some of the uh, regular tried and trues may not be. The one thing you are going to need to do is take a look at not only what do you have uh, winners versus losers, but more importantly, look at the holdings, the managers, whatever, and see what their prospects are for the upcoming year. We can't really judge a tremendous amount by the volatility <laughs> that we've seen, especially lately. So uh, try to look under the hood, get a good grasp on things and make a plan and Buckle in. Well, if I look under the hood, I want a mechanic like you with me. How do we get a hold of you? Well, you can call us right here at Baird & Company in Saginaw. The telephone number is 790-5724, or you can reach the Midland location at 839-9035. we got people there to help on both ends. Have a good weekend, Steve. We'll talk to you on Monday. I will. Look forward to it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Steve Anderson at Baird and Company with our ticket tip of the day. The Farm Show with Farm Director Terry Henney comes along after these notes. <laughs> 